So you guys know we've been covering the Nintendo Switch 2 and when it might be revealed for some time now. And today we have some updates to the story we dropped yesterday about the Nintendo Switch 2 being unveiled in some way, even if it's just a tease in March. Well, yeah, just in general. And yesterday we talked about Nate the Hate on one of his podcasts, where his Nate the Hate podcast, he stated that he firmly believed it was going to be revealed in March. Now, today, we have yet another insider corroborating these reports independently and stating quite emphatically that, yes, the Nintendo Switch 2 will be revealed next month. But not only that, Nate the Hate himself has further clarified his own comments on the Game & Talk podcast and we're going to first jump over to those comments here in a moment. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Hopefully you guys like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and dive right in and get straight to the Game & Talk podcast because this is the show right here. And it's about 40 minutes and we'll link to this down below. It's a nice little podcast that runs uh, in parallel with ours every Wednesday. Let's see what Nate the Hate had to say. Switch to March event. Another... Another Nate the Hate exclusive. What are we doing here, Nate? What are we doing? You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't just do one topic on your show and then save one for this one. Like, what's going on with that? What's this event? Is it an unveiling? Is it a trailer? Is it an announcement? What am I getting here, pal? All I can say is what I said on my show is that the Switch Two appears to be poised and ready for a reveal or an announcement in March. Nintendo will announce switch to in march will so you're putting so you're that's putting a your, confirmation that's a confirmation pal i mean everything i'm hearing dating back to gamescom of last year has indicated something was happening in march that talk has resurfaced in the last few weeks and it is indicating that the switch to is set for a reveal or an announcement in march yes now, yes, that was Nate the Hate on the Game & Talk podcast giving his uh, basically direct statement, a confirmation that it is being announced next month. Now, this builds on top of yesterday where there was some confusion around what he said because did he really confirm it? Well, now he's just outright done it, but oh boy, we're not done because you know what's better than one person? You know, by the way, this is still a rumor for us stating this. How about two people? You guys might know that we also frequently report on Necro Felipe Lima, another reliable insider. He works, I believe, out of Brazil. He runs a Brazilian website called Universo Nintendo, and he has a proven track record with a bunch of stuff correct. And here's what he had to say over on Family Boards, I believe. Then it says, I can corroborate independently on Nate's claim. So these are not the same sources Nate has of March as a reveal month for Switch 2. Oh, boy! Now, look, these are rumors. These are not facts, okay? To remember, rumors are unverifiable because, again, none of us can verify this stuff. Also, on top of that, rumors are meant to be doubted. So I'm not saying you shouldn't doubt it until Nintendo announces Switch 2. You absolutely, 1 billion percent, should not just outright believe that it's going to happen in March. But as you guys know, I obviously have independently heard about potential pre-orders going up in the next couple of months. And I just want to throw out there that this is just feels so real to me. And I know someone will point out, especially when it comes to Nate the Hate, at one point, he said the Nintendo Switch Pro was about to be revealed imminently or imminently revealed. And then he tried to backtrack it right after, but it didn't matter. He did put that out there. And we know the Switch Pro was never actually announced, but that was an imminent thing. He's not saying that this, oh, this is happening now. This is happening in the next week. He's saying March. He's in multiple sources. And then on top, now he's actually backed up this time by another reliable insider in Necro Felipe Lima. So I'm just going to say that, well, I do think you guys should be hyping responsibly and should be being a bit doubtful about this information based off what I've heard and now what they are saying. Guys, I am done hyping responsibly. It is time to hype irresponsibly, baby, because the Switch 2 is coming. Uh, look, look, partner showcase, no partner showcase. I don't know. We'll cover that next week. 
Switch 2 is coming. I don't care if you want to say these videos are redundant. I don't want to care if you're like, I'm so tired of hearing you. Well, guess what? You're only going to have to hear about it for like another month and a half. Because that's, that's how long March is, right? To the end of March, you're only going to have to hear about these hypothetical, rumored platform for another few weeks. Because, guys, it sounds like, and again, just a rumor that we're finally going to have the Nintendo Switch 2 revealed. Could just be a teaser, but that's still a reveal. Could be teasing a future big event. It could be a big blowout reveal. No one knows. Nate the Hate doesn't know if it's going to be a tease or a big blowout. Either way, it's going to be revealed. The system is going to be revealed. Remember the 2016 Nintendo Switch reveal? Look at this. Look at this video. This was how they unveiled the, the 2016 Nintendo Switch, right? This was their tease. This teaser trailer gave us so much to talk about. So much. The form factor, the taking it off the dock, the Joy-Cons. Oh, and by the way, the games. Hello, we had rooftop parties happen with... What we didn't know at the time was 1-2 Switch. Didn't know what that game was. Oh, they teased the new Mario game in here. And we had to talk about, hey, was that a real Mario game? Was that a fake Mario game? Was that just, well, we got to debate about that. So many fun conversations can we have that have tangible reasons to be happening with a teaser. So even a teaser trailer would be amazing uh, for us to finally not only get that that, that monkey off our backs of that pressure of, oh, Nintendo's always got a new system coming, always does, but the pro didn't happen, and we've been talking about this for years, and having that monkey off all of our backs and just knowing Nintendo announces an official new system, that alone is great, let alone giving us teases within that trailer, and then if it happens to be a full blowout event, there's even more to talk about. Like, I know that I cover a lot of rumors. I know I cover a lot of, you know, quote-unquote leaks. I get it, but... The thing that I actually enjoy the most is talking about tangible things. Even back when Tears of the Kingdom was coming out, and I would make a video on three extra seconds of footage in a commercial, that was exciting to me. I was so hyped for Tears of the Kingdom that even those three seconds, which is real news, it's a real thing that happened, was worth talking about and analyzing. For me, I like actually talking about and analyzing tangible things, not just hypothetical rumors and up until recently, the Switch 2 was really just sort of a hypothetical rumor to me until my own personal source last week. So I'm just going to sit here and say I am so excited for the Nintendo Switch 2. I don't know if Nintendo's going to deliver. I don't know if it's going to be called Switch 2. We'll find out whatever they decide to name this thing. But I'm just, it feels so real to me, man. I said this a week ago. I'm saying it today. This feels so real to me now to have an actual, you know, known track track record insiders coming out saying this thing's being revealed in March. I'm just, oh man, I'm so excited. Ah, uh, man, the new Mario game, new 3D Mario. Can you imagine what Metroid Prime Four is going to look like on this thing? And that probably still will come to Switch, but how incredible it's going to look on Switch too. You can imagine what Monolith Soft is going to put on this platform. Can you just imagine those? Can you imagine that? Hey, we now have Elden Ring, or we have a, a, a newer, more updated version of Hogwarts Legacy, or, you know, why not Baldur's Gate 3? Can you just imagine a world where Switch 2 is essentially getting almost all the third-party games that PlayStation does? That, to me, is just a world I want to live in. And, honestly, I want to live in the world where we see what Nintendo does with that level of power. Oh, man. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubblejads from Nintendo Prime. Hyping irresponsibly, baby. You know we'll be talking about this excitedly tonight on our live stream at 8 p.m. Central. Thank you for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.